Yo, what's poppin' folks? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that freaking subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and more importantly, smash that freaking like button. We got a cool little video today. It's something different because I've been just trying, I've been trying to experiment around, guys. It's been tough for me. I've been very busy lately, but we're still trying to post the bangers, getting it done. Well, today we're actually at Bass Pro and we're gonna be going inside and looking at all the tackle kits they got. It's kind of funny because I've done a bunch of tackle kit challenges before, but I haven't done one at Bass Pro Shops, and there is one by my house in Savannah, but the sad part about this Bass Pro is that they're actually, they just sold this whole building to a school that's nearby. This whole Bass Pro is about to be gone, or not the whole building, they sold the whole mall. This is actually Savannah Mall, but good thing that they may be opening a Cabela's right by my house. I'm praying that that's what happens, because that'd be even better. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get inside Bass Pro right now and see what they got. So we've made it inside of Bass Pro. Like I said, we're gonna be looking for a fishing kit today. I would like to pull out just about every fishing kit, but I really don't know how many they have. So I don't want to be pulling out like 20 to 30 of them bad boys and be talking about them. Who knows, they might only have like five in this whole thing, you know, I really do not know. But we just made it inside. As you guys can tell, we're in this little department right here where all the, like the scissors and gloves and lights and uh, marker buoys and all this nonsense is. We got all the fishing line over here. Um, we got some frogs over there. We got some hard baits in here, you know, crank baits, top waters, jerk baits. Whopper ploppers, more crankbaits, and more top waters, and more crankbaits and jerk baits. So, yeah, if you guys want to see some more videos here in Bass Pro, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make sure to do them. I'm going to be going to Atlanta here in a few days. So, with that being said, I will probably be going to the Bass Pro shops there, and there's a lot of stuff in that Bass Pro shops. It's pretty neat. But, um, yeah, like I said, if you guys want to see more videos in here, let me know because this is by my house, especially before it closes. We should come in here and film a bunch more videos. So, if you guys have ideas, Drop them down below. So right here, they got like a bunch of crawls, you know, some beaver style baits. It's just the Bass Pro Shops brand. Um, some other crawls, some speed crawls, you know, the juice from back in the day on the river. I miss those days. We're about to bring them back though. Yeah, we got some regular rage crawls, a bunch of different stuff in here. Like I was saying over here, look at their frog wall. They got so many frogs over here. Look at all them frogs. That is crazy. Got some soft plastic frogs right here. And then the old pop and pickle. I can't believe they have the pickle. That is wild. But yeah, they got a big selection to be fair over here at Bass Pro Shops for the frogs. Oh my gosh. Yo. Yo, here's our first fishing kit that we're looking at today. Look at this. This is a frog. This is a dope frog fishing kit. I didn't even know this like existed. What the heck? This is cool. This is why we go to different tackle shops to find new things. Because I've filmed so many at Walmart. But I just haven't gone the Bass Pro. And look at this. Just all standard frogs, but they're all different colors. You can tell you got the yellow, you got the green, you got the black, you got the black and yellow, and then you got the like a weird looking green and then a regular green colored looking frog. That is pretty cool, not gonna lie, but I don't think we're gonna catch them on this today, to be completely fair. Yo, look at this one. Here's another frog fishing kit, except for instead of them being like the regular hollow body frogs, they're almost like the soft plastic ones, like the ribbit or the horny toad. These are called the, the humping toad. <laughs> the humping toad, what the heck going on here? Yeah, we got the horny toad and the humping toad. I don't know, see that? Oh, horny toad. And then you got the humping toad. There's too much going on over here. I think we're gonna go check some more out. I wanna be fair with you guys. We've seen two kits so far and they're frog fishing kits. I did not expect that. Look, we got some more down here. Let's see. These are crappie fishing kits, man. We don't want no crappie fishing kits up in here, boys. Maybe for another video, if you guys wanna see this, like I said, let me know. Oh my gosh, you know what that is right there? That right there is called the electric chicken. I used to film some videos on it last year. The electric chicken, man, catches the fish. I ain't gonna lie. But these are all crappie ones. We don't really want that. So I actually found two more kits. We got the old sexy shad, Mr. K. Ooh. The Mr. KVD special, man. Mr. Professional over here. Wow. That's actually pretty neat. Not gonna lie, but I don't even want to know the price. There's not even a price. $70. Are you crazy? Are you Hold up, man. You you got me crazy up in here. We're supposed to be doing like almost like a budget fishing kit challenge. I'm sorry, KVD, but we ain't paying 69 bucks. And then we got this one right here. That's like more of an assorted one. I am dropping stuff everywhere. Let's see how much that one is. 
$69. Whoa, we're gonna have to walk away from this one. Ideally today, I kind of want a soft plastic fishing kit, but to be fair with you guys, I haven't found one yet. Like I just haven't found one. I've sold those KBD ones over there, which are like $70. And I just don't, I don't think that's the best, man. I really don't think that's like the best option. 70 bucks for a fishing kit. And then, you know, the frog ones that we found over here, but I just don't see it happening on a frog, but that's really all I've seen. I wanted to find like a little soft plastic kit or something of that sort. I thought there was gonna be a lot more in here, but I think I was wrong. I've been wanting to film a video on these man's jelly worms. You know, you got the blueberry, the strawberry, the, the watermelon, the, the grape, the uh, blackberry. I've been wanting to film a video on this. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys wanna see that. That is a freaking massive worm, man massive you guys aren't gonna believe it so i've been walking around for a while i was like are you kidding me there's not gonna be anything in here I was, that's what i was thinking i was like we're gonna seriously walk through this i was talking at the beginning i was like yeah maybe we won't talk about every fishing kit because there's probably like 30 of them and i haven't found anything so i kept walking around and kept walking around and i just spotted one that i think we're gonna be doing i haven't even walked up on it yet but i saw it from afar and i think it's the perfect one holy crap guys i actually hit the jackpot so i saw this from afar this little fishing kit tackle box and i was like man this is perfect i just saw it from afar and i was like man this is it but then they, i just realized they had literally all these fishing kits they got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and 14 or that one's probably the same but we got like 13 kits right here we've been looking this whole time for soft plastic kits and little did we know they had like freaking 15 of them sitting here so uh let's kind of go down these and look at our options this one's pretty neat um if we don't do this one today which we might i don't even know which one to do look at this oh my gosh that is an assortment of soft plastics there. I really want to do this one, but at the same time, these are really cool as well. We're definitely going to have to break these down. So right here, we have like a fluke slash swim bait looking one right there. And then we, or no, no, no. This is, this is a swim bait fishing kit. This is the fluke kit. This one is a mixture of smaller Senkos and also like little finesse worms. This one has beavers, tubes, and crawls all in the same one. This one is a Senko fishing kit whoa yo this is wait is that one holy crap guys this is like more bougie than i thought so you, like you look at it and you're like oh that's not much and then you realize like how thick the pack is and they have a ton of different colors that is pretty cool 36 pieces 36 pieces for, are you serious 36 pieces for six dollars it's not bad then we got the old lizard fishing kit right here we got another little finesse worm kit a whole tube kit a whole beaver kit, um, a curly tail worm kit, another lizard kit that's different than the one up there, and then another beaver kit right here. This is a tough one. I'm telling you, going into this, I was like, they're gonna have so many kits. And then I started walking around, I was like, there's nothing. And then I just hit the jackpot of like 15 kits. This is crazy, man. So you got the best of Bass Pro kits, 70 pieces, $30 value. I'm assuming it's this one right here. So it says right here, 70 piece best lure kit, yet on the box it says 69 piece. Uh, great marketing, Bass Pro. This one is $15. We're gonna get 70 pieces, and there is a ton of freaking lures in here. We might have to go with this one. This is like the heavy assorted one with all different kinds. It looks like you got, actually I'm not even gonna spoil it right now. We'll have to look at it outside, but I think this is the one that we're gonna end up going with. Right here is the $15 Tournament Series Fishing Kit by Bass Pro, 69 piece, best of the best kit right here. Supposedly Bass Pro Shop says this is the best kit ever and it's Tournament Series, so guess what? I guess we gotta try it out and see if Bass Pro's bluffing over here. Back out fresh on the scene, franchise best on the team. Blue face is busting out the scene, new life is something like a dream. Just made it out to this beautiful pond right here. It's looking really good. As you guys can tell, the water is very stained. And I brought out the old tackle kit that we just bought. 69 piece, best of the best kit. Bass Pro Shops Tournament Series Fishing Kit. We're gonna give it a shot today. So let's open it up and finally see what we got. What in the heck? One just tried to eat a dragonfly right there. That's a good little sign, heck yeah. So 
All right, when we first opened this, you guys are probably wondering, heck, why is there some six, six cents hooks in here? And the reason is because I put them in here. So uh, if you guys want to get 10% off on any of six cents stuff, I'll leave the link down below or pop it up on the screen. Let me tell you, these hooks are very sharp. All the hooks that six cents puts on their baits and the hooks like this, like this little EWG, they are sharp as heck, guys. They are really sharp. <laughs> Last Monday, a week from today, I actually ended up getting hooked. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to check them out, I'll leave the link down below. Also, it's got some basic bullet weights that I brought with me. Um, so we're going to be rigging all this stuff up on, you know, regular wide gap hooks and also, you know, just a standard little Texas rig. So let's see what we got. So this is a wide variety of lures right here. We have some beavers. As you guys can tell, that's just the Bass Pro Shops brand right there. I'm not the, I don't like these a lot but i have used them before and i know they do catch fish so um you know we're gonna let it work today there's a wide variety of colors as you guys can tell we got like i think it's called like a blue sapphire and then we got some june bug ones down in here so those are both amazing for this water clarity and then we got you know a watermelon red that's going to be better for you know clear water um, and then some other colors in there. We actually got some paddle tail swim baits, which I didn't see when we first bought this. Um, we got some lizards in here. We got some white and then some like watermelon ones. Um, some smaller little finesse worms. These would actually be great on a drop shot. And then we have some curly tail worms. Looks like we got some plum colors in here. I don't know exactly what that one is. It kind of looks like a plum, but it's a little lighter. And uh, then lastly, we got some Sankos. So to start off, I think we're gonna end up starting off with a Sanko and we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna start using the green pumpkin or the watermelon seed one right here. Or that is green pumpkin, freaking looking through my camera. We're gonna start off with this guy. This is a very basic color. Um, great color all year round and great color for you know really any water clarity. If you guys are just going out catching fish, this is a basic color that you always want to have with you um, so we're gonna start off by fishing in this corner as you guys can tell there's a bunch of grass water is very stained and there's also a huge shade line right there and then you have all those trees that will be flipping around as well but let's go ahead and put this on a rod and get fishing you guys made it to the giveaway portion of today's video so I'm gonna be giving away this tackle kit if you guys are wondering why guys I have too much tackle I'd rather give it to somebody who's in need but if you guys are curious on how to enter all you have to do smash that freaking subscribe button make sure you hit the notification bell that's right next to the subscribe button like this video and also if you guys are wondering about the last two giveaway winners i'll pop them up on the screen right now congrats be sure to dm me on my personal instagram at noah pescatelli we're finally caught up on the giveaway winners but thank you guys so much for everyone who enters and watch the video let's hop back into it Alrighty, so we got our texas rig on our rod we actually already had this one rigged up like i said basic six cents ewg right here and also, um, this is actually the stroker crawl. I wish I was throwing this today. That's by six cents. If you guys are wondering when these are coming out, they'll be coming out in December. Um, I've caught a bunch of good fish. Like I said, I filmed one video on it, but my audio was messed up and I caught the heck out of them. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a really great crawl and they'll be coming out soon. So let's go ahead and rig up the Senko. Just a little basic Texas rig, nothing special. And if you want to go catch fish at some of these bank areas, that is just one of the most basic baits that will just slay fish. Um, these are going to get a lot of bites today, I'm sure. So we're going to start throwing in this corner. Like you, like I said, a little shade line. Um, and it just looks amazing. There should be a fish here, like 100%. You guys see this right here? You know, we got these trees that are coming down in the water. But then if you look right here where we got that major shade line so there should definitely be some fish right here this is a prime spot for today that is probably going to be the best bank on this pond for what we're throwing i just had one pick me up what the heck he spit it out that was that almost felt like a brim right there oh my gosh that's money he's got me oh my god yeah let's go first fish today what did i say that's money shade line bunch of trees on a sunny day bluebird skies that is exactly what you want right there. First fish, he's not big, but that is a good sign. Why are you bleeding? That is so weird. Look at him bleeding. I hooked him right here in the mouth, nowhere else. That's really weird. Why are you bleeding, buddy? That is a little fat guy. First fish today, nothing big, but look at him. He's healthy and he's chunky. That is overall a beautiful bass. You guys know me, first fish today. I don't care the size. As long as we get the monkey off our back, we're good to go. Let's get you back in the water, buddy. Sanko is knocked off the list, or the green pumpkin Sanko in particular, right there in that shade line, exactly what I was talking about. Got some grass, got some trees, shade line, and boom, he bit it right there. Well guys, I actually got a furry on my line, so I'm gonna take just two seconds and retie. Like I said, when you're throwing around some of this 
covering stuff, you're going to fray up your line. So important to retie because you'll end up breaking your heart on a big fish if you don't. It's worth the two seconds to retie. We're going to put on this watermelon red lizard. This is going to be a great little Texas rig bait as well, especially by some of that cover on the bank. And I think we're going to get slapped. Like I said, I, I just think over there by those trees is going to be the hot spot for this pond. And uh, it's going to be the best little location for how the conditions are today. Oh, Jesus, that's not a bad one. Gosh, he felt huge. Solid two pounder, solid two pounder. Now we talking, that's what I'm talking about, boys. Gosh, did he hammer that thing, hammered the lizard. Look at that, boys, solid two pounder right there on the lizard. Same thing in the shade line, he hammered it and just started running with it. Gosh, I knew this bank was gonna be fire in the conditions today. Mmm, these hooks are so sharp. Come on. Mmm. I have to get the pliers out. This is ridiculous how sharp these things are. Boom. Look at that right there. That is a healthy one. He felt a lot bigger when I jacked into him. I guess he was down in a tree or something. Solid two pound fish right there. Let's get you back in the water, buddy. You're a second fish and we're upgrading every time. We got about a pounder the first time. Now we got us a little two pounder. That is awesome. I don't mind catching something like that. There he goes. Lizard got it done, boys. Now, I actually threw one in my pocket. I got the next bait of choice. We're gonna be throwing the old curly tail worm, and this one's gonna be, this one's gonna be good. I really wanna keep throwing these, but then again, I wanna get a wide variety. You know, we have this tackle kit. We might as well start using a ton of different uh, lures that are in here. So let's throw this curly tail worm in there. Look at this guy. This actually looks really good. That's beautiful right there. It's like a purple glow. It's got some like blue flake in it. Right there, that's where that fish was jumping. See if we can get him to bite. Oh my gosh, no way! Dude, I just put it on and threw it in there. He is tiny. That is like a half pounder, you ain't even a pound. <laughs> the guy just sat there and clapped. I don't know if you want, I want you clapping for a half pounder, bro. Didn't even need to touch that guy. Ever since I got hooked last week, I have been I've been watching these fish. I will say one thing. These soft plastics are tearing up super easy. Oh my gosh. I wanted to just, I wanted to use this again to see if I can catch another one on it. Cause that was just way too quick. This thing's just tearing up already. Wow. <gasps> oh my God. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. Oh my gosh. Try to catch a top water worm better. Oh. We're taking this little curly tail worm off. We already caught a fish on it. Let's switch over to the, we're gonna use this like blue sapphire color. I wanna say it's called. This guy, there's a bunch of trees that are in the water over here. I didn't even cast over there with the worm because I really wanted to throw this in there. See if a fish would eat it. This is a big hefty profile compared to those worms. This will usually catch a bigger bass, um, like a beaver style bait. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna give it a shot. I want to see i'm telling you the shade next to these trees i'm about to throw at just looks so good there has to be one that'll munch this up oh my gosh there he is small gosh dang it gosh dang it you little turd look at that little cut on the side of his body shift yourself Shift yourself, fool. Look at that. I did not expect him to be that small. I really didn't. That fish is tiny. Well, that is not what I expected on this crawl right here. I forgot. Remember when I opened this up and I was like, man, I didn't even know there were swim baits in here. I'm gonna just put it straight up on a Texas rig. I really don't care. We're gonna give it a shot. Matches the hatch, I can tell you that. Oh my God, there he is. On the swim bait. He ain't big. But I just tied that on, literally probably second cast. He's tiny. He choked that swim bait, look at that. Look at those little red lips, oh my gosh. Heck yeah, well that's another bait knocked off the list just like that, little tiny bass. We're gonna continue to throw this. That was literally second cast. You know, this fall time pattern, these fish are chasing bait. And sometimes it's a little hard to get bit on the slower moving baits, you know, if they're feeding. Um, but I just saw some fish come up, start schooling, tied on this little swim bait, threw it in there, boom.
Come on, that's where the big one should be. Last couple of times I came here, I saw a bunch of big fish cruising around eating bait right here. Oh my gosh. Giant, giant. There's multiple too. I'm gonna try to get him out of there. He ain't as big as I thought, what the heck? Okay, smack that swim bait. Why did you feel so big? Two pounder. Holy cow, there's a lot over there, guys. I hope I didn't just spook him out. I'll try to bring him all the way over here. He's right there in between that island chasing bait. Exactly what I was saying right before that. Oh God, you felt so big. You felt giant. These hooks are so good. Another two pounder, we're getting better, guys. Tied on the swim bait, getting the fish that are aggressive chasing bait. There he goes. All right. Oh, there's another one with him. There's multiple with him. Stop it.